Hi, I'm Valder Beebe, and I host the Valder Beebe Show on FM radio and internet television. I am famously known for that celebrity interview, which I conduct by cell phone, in studio, or satellite media tours. Go to ValderBeebeShow.com, YouTube.com slash Show, or our partnership network with Business in the Black, which is BlackSuccessAcademy.com, and click on the Valder BB Show channel. I'll see you there. Kara Strong, thank you, and welcome to the Valder Beebe Show, broadcasting live on KKVI FM Radio in Dallas, Texas. We're so excited to talk to you. Thanks for having me. Well, I am just so impressed with you being the voice behind so many characters that are beloved. But thank you're the you. voice, and tell me about the My Little Pony Friendship is Magic. Well, it's just the super, super cute show that's um, attracted audiences of all ages boys and girls, adults and children, and it's a real sweet, feel-good show that you can sit down and watch with your entire family. Um, it makes you laugh, some moments make you cry, but it's something that teaches you all about being inclusive and friendship, and it's just a sweet, wonderful show to be a part of. My Little Pony's been around a long time. I raised my kids on My Little Pony. What do you think is the success ingredients about it? Well, I also watched the show as a little kid, and I had all the toys. <laughs> and I think for some of us, there's that nostalgia. And then I think this version's really special um, because Lauren Faust, who initially created it, sort of invented this world based on how she used to play with the ponies when she was a little girl. So it's more mystical, and, it, and it's a really interesting, beautiful world. And... I think it just transcends all generations because it's so mystical and wonderful. And who doesn't love a unicorn and a pegasus and dragons? It's just something that carries. It does. What drew you to to be selected for that? Because I really believe that uh, uh, the law of attraction. So that it had to be something to, that drew you to be selected. It's funny that you say that. I was just talking to somebody today about the law of attraction and staying positive. So I believe that too. Um, and actually, Lauren, who I was just talking about, I worked on um, Powerpuff Girls with her years before. And she had this idea to do the show. She came to my house and she asked if I would lay down in my home studio Twilight and Pinkie Pie and Applejack for a pilot presentation that she was doing and of course I said yes the drawings were absolutely beautiful and as soon as she heard me do Twilight she knew right away that I was going to be her star and it just all came together and was meant to be. So you do these voices okay. So what kind of little kid were you? That's what I wanted to know. <laughs> well, I actually grew up um, in a toy store. My parents in Toronto owned a great store called The Wiz that had toys and candies and stickers. I had the best sticker collection of any kid. Um, so I had every pony toy, Cabbage Patch Kids, you name it. And I was really free to explore um, my creativity. They always encouraged me. I knew from a very young age that I wanted to be an actress, and I always did funny voices. Every pet and every toy had a funny voice. My sister and I used to have our own silly radio station that we created on cassette tapes. <laughs> so I've always sort of been whimsical and silly. Well, you know, it's so so amazing how, how how the universe lays down your path and you're just walking that path. Yeah, and it's so funny. My mom, uh, when I'd first moved to L.A., I was getting discouraged and it was challenging for me already having a substantial career in Canada. And she heard me being sad one day and she said, never lose your unicorn because I used to collect unicorns. And that was long before I booked My Little Pony. And she's passed on now, but it's funny when I think about the show, she knew too. I I love life. Yeah. I, just, I really love life, and I love it when we get it. Yeah. Well, you know, My Little Pony, friendship is magic. What, what can kids take away about 
friendship because I don't know if parents are still instilling that in them. Well, and I think that's another reason this show is so important, especially when we can have a world that can be dark, is their world is inclusive and colorful, all ages, all races. Uh, I mean, any, any kind of person is on this show. Everyone can relate to a character on this show, and it really teaches people to be inclusive. My whole life I've fought against bullies, and bullies can't succeed if there's a team of friends around you, and I think this show really helps portray that and, and keep that idea going that if you're standing behind someone and with someone, that even if they fall, you can help pick them up and that there's room for all of us to grow. Even though Twilight's the leader, she's not always right and perfect, and perfect is boring, and it's a great place to grow and learn together and to know that there's always room to grow and become a better person. And I think that is one of the beautiful things about My Little Pony. And it's got original songs, many yeah. episodes. Mm -hmm. I, this is just so delightful to Aww. me. It really is. And hopefully my parents are feeling the same way listening to us here. Yeah. We want them to watch this. Tell us when. Tell us where. Uh, well, the new season's going to premiere on Discovery Family at 1130. There's going to be two back-to-back -back episodes. They're going to be wonderful. Um, and this season we have William Shatner coming on and Felicia Day. We have some great characters that are going to be introduced. We're going to meet um, Fluttershy's, I'm sorry, we're going to meet Rainbow Dash's parents, um, my little adorable niece Flurry Hearts coming on the show. Uh, there's so many great things to expect from this season. There's new songs, uh, new characters, and it's definitely not going to disappoint the fans. And you have something by Weird Al Yankovic also? Oh, yeah. Weird Al came on the show. Patton Oswalt came on the show. We've had a lot of really fun guest stars on the show. I mean, well, everybody wants to do it, especially when someone has kids. They're like, can you get me on that show? Yeah, <laughs> you guys are the place to be. That's I right. Everybody that. wants to come to Ponyville. <laughs> you are a delight, Tara Strong. We love hearing you. I thank love you. voices. As Aww. you can tell, I'm in radio. And yeah. I love your voice. Oh, thank you. Well, yeah, dear Princess you. Celestia, it's been so nice to meet you, Valder Beebe. Oh, thank <laughs> you so much, Tara Strong. Thank you. You made my day. Thank you. Thanks for having me. You're welcome.